Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this afternoon mountain weather update. We'll look at the latest data and trends, and here's what I'm seeing. Not a lot of changes from this morning. Pretty similar. Um, the merger of energy, the two pieces coming together over Wyoming, Colorado, 1223, 1224. Still looks pretty weak to me, weaker than it did a few days ago, and it's moving faster. Um, so still, light uh, forecast, light snow forecast for the Wasatch, potentially three, four, five inches around Alta and Snowbird, but that's probably going to do it. The heavier pockets of snow, southern and southeastern Wyoming and parts of Colorado. Uh, in California, still looking at the potential for a pretty rich flow. Not only in California, but the West Coast, Oregon, Washington, B.C., 1227 through 1230. My first stop here is going to be water vapor satellite imagery. So again, the oranges and the reds are your drier air aloft. The whites, the blues, the greens are your moisture aloft. So piece number one here is taking the southern track. Piece number two right here will be moving through the Pacific Northwest and then down. And again, the two will meet and merge, but again, fast and weak at this point, moving fast. So we'll get some snow out of this, but uh, not, not a ton, not a ton. Here's uh, another piece of energy. This, uh, this area of low pressure will be a marker for um, that rich flow down the road for BC, the West Coast, all the way down to California. That's what will help to provide that moisture. Let me show you the forecast radar and satellite. That's the current state of affairs. So by the time we get into Friday morning, there's your view. Here's Friday afternoon. And then here it is, that moment in time. Two pieces of energy, but again, the problem is look at the gap, the spacing in between the two. That's right where the Wasatch is. So you know, in passing, we're going to get some accumulation, but unfortunately, we're just not going to get that big development close enough to turn the winds to get good upslope. But uh, there it is, the southern track and the northern piece coming in. Um, I do like the, the odds of snow for western and southwest Colorado. I think we're going to see some decent totals there. Um, here's that view on 1223 in the afternoon. Light snows around the, the Wasatch, the Tetons, and then here comes the merger. Here it is by late Saturday and a Sunday morning. Everything gels into one, and we'll get the wraparound effect. We'll get some snow, but I'm even by this point, Sunday morning, snow's out of the Tetons. It's moving out of the Wasatch, and it's mainly just on that, that cyclonic backside. So here it is in Denver, 5280. We're looking for some snow all the way here to the valley floor, potentially one, two, three inches of accumulation. Um, so again, that's Sunday at 6. Watch how fast this is out of here. Breaks up Sunday afternoon, Sunday night, and then it's gone. Here's Christmas morning gone. I mean, it's even moving faster than it was in the earlier projections. So um, yeah, clearing skies for Christmas Day over most of the Intermountain West. Now we look to the Pacific Northwest. Big batch of energy moves in there with heavy precip for the coastal range all the way down into Washington State. And eventually um, that's going to make its way down into California by 1227 through about 1230. Let me back that up just a little bit and see what that yeah, that's that backside of that low. Boy, that does have an effect, doesn't it? All right, so let me just uh, see what um, the jet stream forecast looks like here. So 1224, you can still see a little bit of a trough over Wyoming and Colorado, but not nearly as pronounced as it was even uh, yesterday. So it's just more progressive. Um, it's, a, it's a weaker merger, and it's moving faster in a way. So then we have to look ahead. Here is, this is 1230. Um, and this jet stream is it's cruising and it's it's a nice combo of the northern and southern branch so we're just bringing in ripples on this thing and areas of moisture uh, this looks pretty good this could be an active pattern certainly that's going to be the case from bc down to california we'll see how much moisture we can drag into the interior probably wouldn't happen until after this date uh, probably new year's into january 2024 as far as totals go <clears throat> The rest of today through the 25th through Christmas, all day, uh, 1 to 4, 1 to 5 for uh, most of the Wasatch, uh, 2 to 6 up in the Tetons and Big Sky. Um, southern and southeastern Wyoming gets 6 to 8, maybe a, maybe a 10-inch amount through the Laramie and Snowy Ranges there. In Colorado, 4 to 10, maybe a 12-inch amount down in southwest Colorado, or Wolf Creek, uh, Telluride, Silverton, Purgatory, somewhere in there. Um, probably four to six will do it for northern New Mexico, just based on the speed of this storm system. Um, let's zoom into that just a little bit. Again, I showed you this the last couple of days. Looking down into Denver there at the valley floor, you're looking west and into the mountains through the foothills, west-northwest. 
Um, so some decent six, seven, eights right in the heart of the foothills, running up towards Beardstad and Tories Grays, and then less. It looks like that 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 upslope is a little shallow to make it all the way up to Loveland, A Basin, Winter Park, Keystone. So less up there than what we're going to see downstream into the foothills. Um, back in the mountains, Summit County, Breck Vale, Snowmass, Aspen, Steamboat, probably um, five, six, seven, eight, nine inches of snow somewhere in there. And then the second period, there's a little clipper that kind of runs its way down through Wyoming and uh, Colorado with a couple of inches. But the real story is, you know, you, you can see Whistler, you can see Washington, Oregon, California. Potentially, we're looking at some bigger totals. And what I like about the Sierra flow is that uh, it looks like the snow levels will be lower than what we've been dealing with recently. So that'll help to increase those totals anywhere from probably one to two, maybe even three feet. We'll see how it all shakes out over that time frame. But... Um, that's the way it looks right now. Let me take you up into the Pacific or into the uh, the northeast here. And again, I just don't have much. And what you see here falls probably 1227 through 1229. And, and that storm system is, is warm. It's mainly going to be rain, unfortunately, but we'll probably see a change over at the very end of the storm cycle. Um, the storm lifetime, and, and then it'll change over to a little bit of snow. So that's going to do it, guys. Always appreciate you tuning in here. And this is the afternoon update. Take care.